We got a question of somebody asking. What do you make that sells the best? Like because there's a ton of different projects what as a beginning woodworker. Trying to make some money what should I go towards to make money and so we were. Just replied with the five things that we made the most of we thought that would be a pretty good topic for a video. So we're just gonna roll through the five projects that are just kind of our go to explain what's good and bad about each project what we've learned by building several of them and hopefully that'll spark an idea for you maybe you can use these as a go to or it gives you the confidence to get off the ground with your business five projects are so versatile and so ubiquitous that like you can incorporate oh I know it's a big word well I heard of you use it so yeah ubiquitous means it's everywhere so these are five projects that you can make so different and so unique that if a customer just says hey can you show me something is that you built you can point to one of these projects and say well I could do it just like this but in a door or in a shelf or in a cabinet something like that and honestly in your portfolio people like to see pictures of things that they could see themselves buying so if somebody wants a coffee table or they want some bar stools but all your Instagram or whatever portfolio has in it like super tiny detailed keepsake boxes there can be like I don't know if they're quite up my alley let's just get into it talking that's the transition okay so number one on our list of super common projects is a desk we have made multiple videos on YouTube of us building desks that's just what people want lots people want me desks whether it's to fill space in a room or they genuinely just need a work area wheel get a lot of requests to customize desks whether that's cable management wireless charging certain types of legs that they want but it comes down to it there super simple to make and customize so if you have a picture of one in your portfolio that somebody thinks it's cool they can look at it and say hey that's awesome and then can we do two extra poles for cable management you're like yeah I'm sure no problem super easy so very versatile there's a lot of directions you can go at this one you can change the style of a little look of the duck feel of them and when it comes down to it's still just really usable desk can then a little bit more on the sales side of building desks and why we absolutely love the building of it it's because it is great practice for you as a salesperson to upcharge to add little extras to add accessories and customize it for them and then really as you customize it takes more time and more materials more skill it's gonna naturally cost more whether it's labor or whether it's your hourly rate it's the materials you buy all in all it will cost more so for it still somebody comes to you and they say hey I need a desk that's great that could be a million different desks you can sit down and say hey what are you going to use the desk where are you a computer or are you a college student do you want it for decoration from there if they say you no yeah I'm a computer I like Jing you say well from there we can do multiple shelves for you you can make different cubbies to hold tower for your desktop computer cable management is a big one that people who do a lot of online Jing like to do you can include wireless charging so they can charge all of their little I don't no pieces accessories at the same time while they're playing I just want to put in here for just a second you remember rest the guy who built the liquor cabinet for a good friend of ours we did just built him a desk and we just did all that we just did all of those things to his little desk we have a matched furniture desk just applying top for edges hairpin legs built and that exact same desk we normally sell it four bucks whenever 
we batch out five or more and we turned. His almost the same exact style we turned his into like an or desk. Because we used an up top he's two bite. Six oak for the top note big thick hand. Then I made a long tray that did all of. His cable management we had a power. Strip in there and then I routed out a. Big hole in the bottom so he could put a. Wireless phone charger through the top. Of the wood and with all those up. Charges we changed it from out of. Desk that we would make out a pine into. And their desk and it really only. Cost me and it cost me an extra like two. Or three hours worth of labor to get. Those other things finished okay number. Two piece of furniture that we do. Constantly is coffee tables everybody. Loves coffee tables most of what we see. Is somebody is trying to achieve a. Certain style or they're trying to tie. Together a certain look in their living. Room and the coffee table is a really. Easy way to do that so that's what we. See most of the time or somebody will. Come to us and say hey I need to mash. Another piece that I have in my living. Room so I need the coffee table will. Look like that and honestly that's where. We get a lot of repeat customers alright. So on the sales. Things coffee tables are really good. Because it teaches you and it trains you. How to follow up with your customers and. Get repeat sales because if you think. About it where do people put coffee. Tables in their living rooms and then if. You look at a living room think of your. Living room it's probably where you have. The most furniture in one small area. That reason being because that's the. Room everybody sees you have guests and. Company come over and you sit on the. Couch in your living room around your. Coffee table you serve drinks maybe you. Have some man tables a shelf in the. Corner a TV stand there's a ton of stuff. In your living room so if there's any. Area of your house where you want a. Really nice looking piece that you can. You know talk to people about for people. To compliment and point out the cool. Design features it's your living room so. Starting with the coffee table. You build somebody a coffee table day. Really like it you follow up with them. In a couple of months and you say hey. How do you like that coffee table day? Say hey yeah I like it it looks really. Cool you can even say something like hey. When I was in your living room I noticed. In that corner on the left side of your. While there's a little space open and I. Think it'd be super cool if we put a. Bookshelf and there we could make it. Match your coffee table by using the. Saw kind of wood oh that's an awesome. Idea I never thought about that that it. Be super cool to have a bookshelf in my. Living room that matched the coffee. Table and from there you can start. Another sale with a repeat customer so. You put a really nice piece of furniture. In somebody's living room and what do. People automatically start doing they. Start comparing everything they have to. That one piece of furniture and when. You're comparing MDF and particle board. Furniture to that beautiful oak coffee. Table that you just built them there. Gonna think wow I need to replace some. Of the stuff I have now with nicer stuff. Or I simply want to replace some of my. Old stuff with newer nicer stuff so. That's another awesome way that coffee. Tables are gonna bring you multiple. Sales so coffee tables are really good. Catalysts to train you to find repeat. Customers and talk to people who have. Already bought from you. Alright next up on the list hour. Cutting boards you've seen us make a. Bunch of cutting boards on this channel. And that's just because they sell really. Well it's one of the it's one of those. Things that everybody uses there's. Something that you can batch out and. Make a lot of in a short amount of time. They don't take up a whole lot of space. So you can kind of have them in the. Corner of your garage or in your. Basement or something and just have them. Ready to go in the next time that you. 
Need to make a sale or get a few extra dollars of cash you can just start texting a ton of people that you haven't talked to in a while and just said hey. Running this business now was just batching down a ton of cutting boards. One if you wanted one and that's a really easy way to make a you know a couple hundred bucks very quickly hits. Also another thing that you can approach businesses with one thing my buddy Bruce Aldrich that he does he makes cutting boards for closing gifts so he's got a really good connection with a bunch of realtors in town and he just asked him he's like hey can I make cutting boards and you give those to your clients as closing gifts when they buy a home or sell a home with you he stays really busy making a lot of cutting boards and you can get super fancy with cutting boards you can do the face grain cutting boards which we do a lot of you can also do a giant integrating cutting boards which are also they take a little more time but they re really really nice and if you get a realtor that's got the money to spend on really nice closing gifts typically to a dollar you can really start to make a lot of money especially once you start batching them out that's also a really good opportunity for you as a business owner to learn how to scale if all you need is an extra two or three CLPS and you can make another two or three cutting boards per batch that really raises your profit margins so this kind of teaches you how to scale with a small product that way when you get ready to do something like a restaurant or a department store and build all the display tables you kind of already know how to think through a lot of products running through your shop at once yeah that's why we recommend cutting boards are a great place to start if you're a business that's just trying to get off the ground and learn how to do this production thing let's say blanket ladder it's time for a field trip taking a trip have your seat is it gonna be lit this next up is blanket ladder is Jenny made this one with just a jigsaw and a drill it was gonna be so mean if you just stopped in there stupid easy to make Jenny made this one all right next on the list our blanket ladders they're very simple to make Jenny made this one with just a jigsaw and a drill they do really well in a living room they're really versatile you can get kind of intricate with them if you want to all it takes is just a couple of two by fours you can screw them together plug the holes this again is another good project it's a little bit larger but you can batch them out really quickly so it's another really good learning opportunity for you as a business owner to batch five to ten of these out and kind of move through the process of doing multiple pieces at once in your shop these do really well at crowd fairs also do the measuring sticks you know where you measure your kids height on this stick and you can take the stick with you if you move or something like that and blanket ladders are really easy to sell because you can also sell decorating packages with them this is something Jenny's done she'll like bundles she'll take a like a burlap sack you get at Walmart or something like that and she'll put like four seasons worth of decorations in each one from like Hobby Lobby or somewhere and she'll sell that bag of decorations for bucks along with the blanket ladder for about or so for a hundred Bucks, you've got a piece of decorations already put together ready for a year-round decorating in your living room a lot of people in the east in the south where my fillies from we have a whole bunch of blankets and quilts that are filly heirlooms and they're just collecting dust in the closet but you could put them on a blanket ladder display them that's another sales angle that you can go for really these things are just so versatile for decorations just try to find out what's popular in your area and try to throw together a 
decorating package to go with the blanket louder because that's gonna go way further than just having a ladder made out of wood that you're trying to sell so this is a good way to learn how to market and take good pictures too oh my god so the last thing we're going to talk about is kitchen tables this is where you can really flex your muscles as a maker if somebody's buying a kitchen table from you it's probably not the first thing they've ever bought from you maybe it is but this is a pretty high dollar item once you're starting to talk about like custom kitchen tables you're looking in the two dollar range just kind of depending on the size of the table this is where you can learn how to make bigger items you really have to think about your clipping strategy your sanding and finishing strategies it's just everything's different with a larger product everything changes when the project gets really big it's one thing to do a bunch of cutting boards and if you have the tables booked when you get one or two kitchen tables in the workshop you start to run out of space really quickly so it's a good exercise and learning how to you know just manage your space I guess this is where you can really find out how well your shop is laid out because if you can't make a large item like a kitchen table in your shop you may need to consider getting rid of some things or moving some stuff around especially if you want to do any sort of light production you like my crocs you these are my nice crocs but yeah kitchen tables if you're at the point where you're selling kitchen tables to your clients I'm pretty sure you've made it because that's something that their Philly touches eats on like people will trust you if it's like a small cutting board or something but if they're gonna spend two or three thousand dollars with you to build a kitchen table I feel like you've you've arrived that person is definitely on your ferris wheel I hope these tips have been helpful these are just the five things that we make the most of that we will have the best learning opportunity for a small business or a side hustle trying to learn how to build things and there's all different types of construction like we've covered small things like cutting boards to really big items like kitchen tables if you can master those five products part products if you can master those five products everything is gonna go your way and it sounds like you're off to a great start as a business so anything else Bruce he says no all right well if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button helps out the channel a ton it really does make a difference hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and then if you want to know even more detail about how we actually closed sales what we sound like on the phone some scripts are pricing structure that sort of thing we have progress available for purchase we slow it way down and we don't put as much fluff and brawlets literally just the information really in depth really solid we spend way more time on those progress than we spent on these silly weekly videos but yeah check out links in the description all right we're gonna have a couple more videos on the screen here for you to watch thank you very much